Evening, everybody. It's 541 on Monday, the 14th of March, and this is your closing comment for the day. It is video number 1188, and I remind everyone to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. Okay, so we started off with very strong um, futures. And I mentioned this morning they were up 400, then they were up 162. The Dow actually, after the open, got as high as up 415 and closed up $1.05. So just a scant 414 off the high. Uh, advanced declines there were 3 to 1 to the downside. NASDAQ never had that kind of shot today. It was uh, had gone from plus 180 early this morning to down 42 before the open, and it closed down 262.59 or 2.04 percent. That is the biggest loser as far as um, indexes go, and it was 2.9 to 1 down. Volume was 5.8 billion, which is up uh, from $5 billion on Friday, so uh, up 15% volume on a day that was really horrendous. Uh, S&P was up a little, finished down 31.20 or three quarters of a percent, and the Russell, uh, which was the second biggest loser, down just under 38 uh, or 1.92%, transports 101.88 down 0.67 percent. So pretty ugly. Um, the problems, of course, the COVID lockdown in Shenzhen, uh, the concern about Apple because Foxconn's biggest um, area is Shenzhen, uh, and of course the UK-Russian talks, which supposedly were going well. I don't have a clue why anybody would listen to that kind of bullshit since we know that we're dealing with Putin the thug and he's a liar. So what point would there be? Uh, as far as stocks, we had a couple of uh, winners and a couple of losers, some of them horrendous. Uh, Nectar, N-K-T-R, which in um, conjunction with Bristol Myers had a um, melanoma drug. Um, the stock, it was a failure, by the way. Uh, the stock was uh, down about uh, 25% this morning. It finished the day at $4.17, and that was down $6.45, so 61% there. Uh, we had Apple, which tried to recover um, it opened around 151, which was down almost $4, uh, got down a little lower, rallied all the way back to 153 and change, high change, and then finished the day at 150.62, down 411 or 2.7%. Coupa, C-O-U-P, Coupa Software, um, beat on revenues but had a wider loss than was expected. This is a stock that last year uh, traded at 377. Before the earnings, it closed the day at $89.82, down 954. And afterwards, closed 65.21, down 34.15. So $377 to $65. Uh, down 34% just today. Um, also, uh, bonds were very weak, interest rates higher, the yield curve has flattened out considerably, and the 10-year today, which this morning I quoted you at uh, 208, up 8 basis points, closed the day at 214, up 14 basis points. Scott Miner was on um, Wapner's new show at four o'clock today and said he thinks that uh, we're in for a bit of a rally 
in the bonds. He thinks that this is a fair value, uh, 2%, 2.1% for the 10-year. Um, back to the real world, where Chinese stocks continue to get pounded, um, two stocks that I have dropped coverage on, as I've dropped coverage on all Chinese stocks for a multitude of reasons almost a year ago. And uh, Alibaba today, the stock was 275 a year ago, closed today 77.79 down $8.92, which is another 10.3%. And its cousin Baidu, which traded 354 a year ago, closed 108 today down 10.92 or 9.2%. And I will mention our big winner of the day, something that we happen to be long, Paramount Global, Paramount Studios, the old Viacom CBS, uh, traded as high as 36 and change today, finished the day 35.85, up $3.23, 9.9%. And volume was well over 200% higher. Okay, Uh, as far as futures go, oil was down $6, traded below 100. Uh, If you are a subscriber and you read my note last night on oil, I thought it could get down to between 95 and 100. That's exactly what it did, closed above the rising. 20-day moving average, even though the five has rolled over. Uh, You know, could we get to 95? Absolutely. Could do it first thing in the morning uh, on demand destruction. But uh, I'm not so sure that even if it gets there, it's not going to have a bounce back to the 110, 120 area, even if it's not going to make a new high. Uh, The gold, and I will share uh, Dennis's number. He gave it to me this afternoon. He would like to be a buyer of the gold at 1946. We closed at 1960.80, down 24. So he's looking at it down in this area, which as far as I'm concerned, is a great area to be buying it. Like the oil, it's well above its rising 20-day moving average, even though the five-day has rolled over on the decline from this big rally up to 2078. But, you know, let's be honest, it was 2078. It's over $100 cheaper here. So a move down to 1946 would get us back on the long side. Bitcoin was up 500 on the day. Uh, the dollar was down 16 cents, and uh, let me just give you a look at the bonds, because I mentioned Scott Minert, who is really one of the best on Wall Street, no bullshit kind of guy. Uh, this is what the bonds did today, down two and a half. Uh, to give you a context, let's look at the weekly, uh, which is what I keep going back to in the um, weekly letter, and all of these arrows represent lower lows after the breakout, lower highs, I'm sorry, after the blow-off top back in early March of last year. So Scott is saying this is an area of support. Let's go a little further out to the five year and you can see why he's seeing that. This was a really nice consolidation that lasted from uh, January of 2018 to uh, May of 2019. So a solid year and a quarter before the breakout and the run up. So coming back into that area, uh, which is where we were on the lows a couple of weeks ago and where we are right now looks like it could make a lot of sense okay tomorrow we have ppi and core ppi and the empire state manufacturing index Uh, this is a big week for numbers we have a two-day fed meeting and fully expect that we'll have a rate rise coming out of that 
All right, everyone. Have a good evening. Hope you didn't get hurt too badly today. Uh, in the Discord room, we traded uh, John Deere very profitably. Uh, buyers of the calls around a dollar eighty sold half of them at three sixty on the hundred percent up rule. Uh, they closed uh, around uh, two fifty six, but were offered substantially higher. The death, the stock did rally six and a half dollars today. Have a good evening. I'll be back in the morning.